my latest project, I give you Furby Google Assistant. This little guy took me a little bit of time to put together. I used what's called a Raspberry Pi. And I actually used the Raspberry Pi Zero because it's small enough to fit inside of the Furby and it also has wireless capability. With that, I also hooked together a Adafruit motor controller and a Pi Hat Wave audio amplifier because the original Furby speaker really was terrible so I wanted to put a decent speaker system in it and the motor controller in the Furby was old and not very well put together either so I needed something that would work with a motor system and the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins so that's where the Adafruit controller come in no they're not pictured here but those together with the Google SDK APIs, Python 3, and the native shell on the Raspberry Pi is how we got this to work. I'm um, not going to get into specifics because it is just a lot of complicated stuff, and this is a short introduction video. So let's take a look at the Furby and see how the little guy works. So I'm going to give him a command and We'll see what happens. Time is it? It's 7.02 p.m. Standard time. Tell me a story. Once there was a lonely Google assistant that wondered why nobody would talk to it. Then a magic fairy came along and said, Hey silly, your volume is turned all the way down. Whoopsie do, exclaimed the Google Assistant, and it was never lonely again. And there you have it. That's the Google Furby.